Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. My well wishes are with you. May you live long, healthy, and safe life. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can obtain company data for your assignment, research papers, or for the investment decisions using LSEC Workspace. The types of data can be an overview of the company, news and research, earning estimates, the price history, the charts, the financial data, income statement, balance sheet. It can be ESG data. It can be events of the company, ownership structure, the debt structure and the credit analysis, the payer analysis and the company valuation, derivatives and the company filings. So the data is very comprehensive. The first thing you need to do is to search for the company that you want to analyze, and then you will be taken to the user interface where you can see all of such kind of data that I just mentioned. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the example of Woolworths Limited Company, which is listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. For your analysis, whatever company you have to analyze, you can search for that company. Let us search for Woolworths in the search bar. I'm going to write Woolworths. The first option, Woolworths Group Limited, ordinary share listed on ASX. I'm going to click on it. Now the Woolworth has been loaded. And in this user interface, I can see all the data that I need for Woolworths in the LSEC workspace. The currently, the tab that is visible is the overview tab. And all the overview data is available here. Next to the overview tab, there is a news and research. The first few links are linked to news. Then last two links are linked to research. Then the third tab is price and chart. Few links related to price. And the last two links linked to the uh, charts. Next tab is the estimates. So you can see detailed estimates, recommendations and target price, historical surprises, top analyst, and internal estimates. So there are a lot of links you can click and go into more details. Then the fifth tab is about financials. All the data about the income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, valuation, and some other financial data. You can click on these links for further details. Then the sixth tab is environmental, social, and governance data. The first few links are linked to ESG. Then the corporate governance. Then finally, the officers and directors data. Then the seventh tab is about events, the corporate events, some data about the transactions, the company deals, margins and acquisitions target model. Then we have data about the corporate actions. You can see all the links are available under that. Then the eighth tab is ownership. Ownership summary, shareholder pair analysis, insider report, equity holding, and so on and so forth. Ninth tab is about the debt and credit. First few links associated with the debt. Then the last few links are linked to the credit. Then the pair and valuation is the 10th tab. A few links related to pairs. And then the last few related to the valuation. The 11th tab is about derivatives. And the final tab is about filings. You can clearly see LSEC Workspace has a comprehensive data that you can get for the analysis for any company. In this tutorial, I'm not going into the details for each and every tab. What I want you to do is give it a try by yourself. Look at your assignment requirements or a case study that you may be analyzing for your particular research. Or you may be interested in investing in a particular company and you are analyzing the data for that company for your investment decision. So give it a try by yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you are unable to find any particular data or if you have any questions that you need my guidance, I'll be happy to answer your questions and provide you further assistance. Remember one thing, the more you practice, the better you will become. All the best with your endeavors of life. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Till then, take care and have a very good day.